The Big Chill, starring Jeff Goldblum. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, no, I'm Dave Schwartz. St. Louis, tomorrow, New Year's Eve, 48. you got to be thinking, oh, wow, this is great. Why don't we have a picnic under the arch on New Year's Day? Forget about it. 29 degrees, and that even ain't even half the story, considering how strongly the wind will be blowing. And the lake effect snow, wow. Look at the cold front. By January 2nd, through Miami, just 60 degrees. The Big Chill, starring William Hurt. Thank you very much. <laughs> Dave Schwartz alongside the Hootie Owl and also Jeff Morrow. He'll be with you here in just a few minutes. We've got two storms here across the country. And if you'll permit me just one little, I'm just going to get a little close to the TV set here. Maybe a little close for comfort, but I just want to kind of get in here for a second. Is there any resemblance to Mickey Mouse at all? I don't know. I just saw this frame with these two things and I thought, gee whiz, Mickey Mouse here is... Well, it's a new week, and we have a new way to spend your afternoons here on the Weather Channel with my new partner and your friend, Dave Schwartz. Put her there. We, we are ready to have a good time. We are ready to have a good time, <laughs> and we're so glad that you are with us, too. Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Dave Schwartz. And I'm Alex Wilson. So glad we're here. So many people at home are like, yes, Dave's back. And there's some people who are wondering, what's the big hoopla about this guy? They don't know me. But I actually but worked awesome. here up until like five and a half years ago. If you know me, good to see you again. If not... Let's, You're about to be roll. a huge fan. You know, we're <laughs> tracking some rainy weather. Your layers. Back to you. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> Reagan Maggie. As we go to a break, check out this amazing video. We're starting comforter Home. tour. Look at me. Do, now, do I look familiar if you pretend that's a lake over there? There. Kind that's of. It. That's it. Well, we got to get an in-depth look at this polar air invasion that's going to have you wrap it up in your comforters. Let's go to winter weather expert Tom Nizzle in the Global Forecast Center. <laughs> Well, everybody, it wasn't too long ago. Tom, let's take it to Seattle, where things have been so hot, it 
It's dizzying. Look, it's an action shot, right? It is, it is an action shot. Above average temperatures. So, uh, huh. I don't think I'm going to need this, am I? What's that? A picture? My blanket. Oh, your I'm blanket. You're not going to need I'm the blanket. Talking, here. I'm no, still talking. No, no, no. That's the big one. I'll take this for you. All right. Yeah, I guess if i got to talk about 80s, I look like a goof. You go save that, though. I save it, it over at the desk because we need it. I got oh. it. Heat wave for the Northwest. Let's talk about the numbers because Seattle, you've been sweaty for Salt Lake City. Dave, did you steal my blanket? We got your blanket, Alex. <laughs> a change in the weather took some beachgoers by. Even by the weekend, we're staying in the 60s. Rihanna coming to town. Dave, what's your favorite Rihanna song? Um, uh, pom, pom, what is Ponder? Pondy Replay. Ponder, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Not, I thought you were going to pick Umbrella as a weather person. Pink Umbrella? No, Pick Umbrella. She has a song called Umbrella. Oh, really? It's your snack time. You're over it. Yeah. Come on. Right. That's like Rihanna and me. It's like two different worlds. Yeah. Well, you knew Ponder Replay, so I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. Hey, across the southeast uh, and even into the Midwest, these are places. Simple. In Atlanta, Dave Malkoff, the Weather Channel. How about that pie day? You know, I'd like one. I would like one person in the audience to call and order pizza to the Weather Channel under my name. I'll go, you'll pay for it, but I'll, I'll, I'll get the one who gets the call because people around here will eat that so fast, okay? So mushrooms and uh, pepperoni? How's that sound? I love mushrooms. Who's that? Me. Oh, it's you. Of course. <laughs> it's you and me, Alex. You're going to have to share. Surely you can't eat the whole thing yourself, right? Well, I've been known to, uh, right. you know, pull through. Hey, check this out. This is not tomato sauce. This is a severe threat for tomorrow. And welcome back, everyone. It is time to play What City Am I? I am your host, Mike Bettis, and it's time to play Temperature Trivia right here on the Weather Channel. Let's say hello to our contestants. It is uh, Battle of Wits. It's the sharpest of the sharp. It is the smartest of the smart. It is Dave Schwartz versus uh, Alex Wilson. Uh, on my cards here, I've noticed, Dave, that your father said at one point, he had a premonition you'd actually be a meteorologist. He knew I'd be a meteorologist because he said that I could look into a girl's eyes and tell weather. Oh. Oh. Um, and, and Alex, I hear here that you may have actually passed up a lucrative career in art. I won Best Illustrator in first grade. That's a major award. You're number one. Are you ready Not to today, play? Though. Not today. <laughs> Temperature oh, trivia. Oh. Oh, let's do it. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you a temperature trivia question about what happens this weekend across the country. All You've right. got your papers right in Go front ahead. of you. I want you to right. write your answer down on your sheet of paper. First question, let's reveal it for you. I'm going to show you two numbers here. What city am I? Tomorrow morning, your forecast low will be 39, but Memorial Day, your forecast high will be 86 degrees. What a swing. Okay. So let's reveal it. Multiple choice. Let's oh. reveal our answers for you. Is it A, Pittsburgh, B, Denver, C, Minneapolis, or D, Asheville? Before we go any further, I want these out. Take your IFD out. No, nope. I can't hear Somebody's the Somebody's talking to her. No, no one's talking no to No cheating. Me. Write no. your answer on your sheet Write of paper. Answer, okay. You've got five seconds. Uh, Pittsburgh, uh, Denver, uh. Minneapolis, or Asheville. Are you ready to reveal your answer? Yes. Yes. All right. Count of three. We'll do it together. You won. Three, two, one. Both say Pittsburgh. Let's reveal the answer. It Yay! is indeed Pittsburgh. Congratulations to Dave and Alex, both answering number one correctly. Wow, this is tough. This is. I'm impressed. Thank you all. I'm impressed. We have a dead even heat right now. We have three questions total here, though. Let's go to number two. Go ahead. What city am I? Tomorrow morning, your forecast low at 41. Then on Tuesday, how about we go almost double plus? Tuesday, forecast high wow, of 90. Wow. What 40? city? Am I? 90, Let's reveal your multiple 90, choice right. selection. Is it A, Bangor, Maine? Is it B, St. Louis, Missouri, C, Hartford, Connecticut, oh. or D, Albuquerque, New Mexico? Oh, my God. Uh, write your answers on the sheet of paper. Right, let's go. We'll Hannah, wait for wow. your answer. Wow, that's tough. <laughs> Sheesh. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Three-letter identifier comes Okay. Right. What oh. is your answer? C. Hartford and Say. Hartford, and the answer is Hartford, yeah! Connecticut. We, are <laughs> we have a tie game right oh, now. Man. It is a pressure cooker. Winner take all. You get this one all right. right. Oh. You wow. win. Are you ready? Hang on all a right, second. Here we go. Tomorrow morning. <laughs> go ahead. Forecast low in this city is 48 degrees, but on Tuesday, your forecast high is 86.
seven. All right. What okay. city am I? Are you A, Raleigh, North Carolina, B, New York City, C, Chicago, or D, Oklahoma City. Wow. Take your time. Mm. No time limit on this mm. because this is for all the beans. Everything you beans. got. All right. Dig deep. What is your knowledge of country's temperature changes this Memorial Weekend? Well, what was the morning temperature? 48. Morning temperature 48. Afternoon high on Tuesday, 87 it's, degrees. Can I put Are you feeling down? confident? Would you like to phone a friend? <laughs> yes. Are you feeling you need Dr. <laughs> yeah. Greg Forbes right now? Do yes. you need a Dr. Greg Postel in your life, a Jim yeah. Cantori? I want to call up Postel. I'm going with what Are I know. Are you ready? Reveal your answers. New, New York, York City. City. Oh. New York City, and the answer is New oh. York City. Oh, do we share a car? What so, we get? so let's show them what they've won. Well, in fact, you haven't won anything, uh -oh. except our thanks. Congratulations, the handshake for me. Do we want to do a tiebreaker? Do you want to do a tiebreaker? Two right. seconds. Go ahead. Give me Dr. Greg Forbes, the Weather Channel severe weather yeah. expert's middle name. Ooh. Arnold. Mm, James. You both lose. It's Stanley. <laughs> Thanks for playing. We'll be right back. To the tune of maybe four inches wide, the hail. When was the last time you pitched the softball, huh? Four inches wide coming down on your... Well, it takes some enhanced rainfall. Thank you, Michael. All right. Well, we had a close call earlier with our replica record largest hailstone. Take a look. You had a hard time. Time for our top five. Can we get this out of here? Don't... Oh! oh! Oh. You broke the set! No, no it's I didn't fine. Break it. It's fine. It's All alive. Right. You broke the set! No, no it's I didn't fine. Break it. It's fine. It's All alive. Right. Steven, our producer, is one, he's gonna come over here and he's gonna wring your neck. Uh, we're also no longer welcome back in the building tomorrow. Our badges don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was better like an ESP, better than the ESPN slow mo. No. You know? no. Get me the get me the prompter so I can draw on it. Um, I did find out that we do have the results though of uh, our hailstone. Of what happened uh, to Patrick, this eight our inch wide hailstone. We're making margaritas, right? Well, we tried to the best of our abilities <laughs> to save the hailstone, but. <laughs> Who's got, who's got the Elmer's? You got oh. some Elmer's glue Super for me? Super crazy glue? I have to put that back together by what time? Oh, oh yeah. Right, right, Root here. Let me see Root if strength. I can help you with that. I yeah. still vote for Marguerite. Alice, this if you want to try some, too. We got this is an eight-inch wide eight inch. stone replica. Well, maybe, you know. It's ridiculous. Put some putty in here. Maybe there. we can get yeah. Cunningham and Chris Warren in here to help they us. They can help fix yeah. it. They, their minds. You're, put all of our minds together. We're going to get it. You're in my life, man. <laughs> you're, oh, you're I'm in my sorry. Life, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Same story for you guys in New York City, Trenton, and Parsippany, New Jersey. And from the Weather Channel headquarters in Atlanta, you're watching Weather Center Live. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's do this like Brutus. We are back at it, and it is a. Did you recognize that guy? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it's Throwback Thursday here on the Weather Channel. I'm Dave Schwartz along with Alexandra Steele. Oh, is that why I'm here on a Thursday? Because it's a Tuesday. It's like, let's move forward Tuesday. Well, well, this is your first time here in three it years. Is, it is. You did some work for CNN, but you I worked here for a long time prior to that. Nine years before that. Nine years. On now, right? That's right. You haven't gotten back in time. This is actually today. That's right. December 4th, 2014. I know, right? Alexandra Steele is back. Give me yes. five up top. Yeah, baby boy. Nice. All right, but take a look at these images. A little scary, right? Is it throwback? Right. We'll show you. We'll re-rack the A-tracks and we'll like put this on. <laughs> take a look at this, right? I can't wait to see your phone. Right. I, I was on the wall doing a Getting weather milder a bit. here in the plains. Just like the down. phone? Is there a phone? There you go. Yes, thank it's your you. Wife, simple. It's my wife. <laughs> Hi, honey. I've got the. Oh, I look yeah. so little. I gotta step out. <laughs> honey, let me give the phone. Okay. I, I love you too. Bye. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, 
they would promo our new text messaging service uh -huh. by uh, by causing a little phone sound to ring, mm -hmm. which I thought was, you know, it interrupted me. I'm trying to talk about the one. So I decided to play with it, and you played along. It was great fun. Well, it was before you had the, you know, put it on vibe mode, right? Right, right. right. So it was on the set with us, Silence and it started it. ringing. And it wasn't Sybil. Sybil, where are you? I've got dinner in the <laughs> kitchen. If you're not inside, you're hopefully running inside right. now as that storm moves in. Now it is time for our top five. Bump the hands. Well, back, yeah. Perfect. Back, where we take a look at the amazing weather videos from around the world. It's been a while since we've high five for a top it five. It has. It has been a while. Last week sometime. Yeah. Last month. Too long. That's for sure. It's why you watch this show. It's Dave Schwartz and his wow factor. Dave uh, always kind of blowing the minds every time he steps into the studio. 13 and a half inches. Where? Winterville, Maine. I mean, it, it, it's like you ordered that up. Right. It's like I made up the name. Right. You know? Right. Nice. Now, that's what I read. Would I swear to that that's true? No. Everything that's on the internet is true, Dave. Right. <laughs> St. Patty's Day, you and me. Turn this weather underground green. <laughs> we will. Mother Nature will give us a little slap in the face. Oh! The oncologist tells me I'm going to lose my hair. <laughs> oh! But that will put me in fine company here at the Weather Channel. Don't you think, Nick? I'm thinking of just hand washing my underwire speedo. Huh? I think you might need it's that to. time of year. Get it out of the mothballs. What is the speedo criteria? What's the temperature? I'd say 78 with uh, moisture in the air. Okay. Let's check in with Carl. About Pat. Uh, 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 what are you call, uh, talking about, Carl? Uh, our producer. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rob. They're, they're just people. You, you know, mean people well. You tell mean me well. Stuff. That's yeah. all I know. Yeah. I know I speak for a lot of us here at the Weather Channel. When I say that your fighting spirit, your, your hope, uh, it has really been an inspiration. Even people here have said, maybe Dave should take some time off. Yeah. The rest of feel good. You said, no, you want to come to work. I want to come to work because I love doing what I'm doing. That's just a boost to my day. I'm a people person. I love you. I love you, my friend. Thanks for watching. This morning, we are remembering our friend and your friend, Dave Schwartz, who spent more than two decades at the Weather Channel doing what he loved and loved what he did for you, our dedicated viewers. And Dave lost his long battle with cancer Saturday morning, and we honor Dave and his Weather Channel legacy by highlighting his passion for meteorology and his infectious personality. And we were both counted ourselves as lucky to have worked alongside with him and this is one shot that I was able to take with Dave, a Philadelphia native Temple grad. Uh, we enjoy talking about our love of Philly. I had been there for so, almost six years and what I love most, his dapper style. Man, that he knew how to work an outfit. Saddle shoes and all. Saddle shoes yes. and the crazy jackets and loved every every bit of it. And I've worked with Dave since day one here <laughs> and there's a picture of uh, my old partner Mar uh, Maria um, Kelly Cass <laughs> And right before his team took over. And one thing I remember back in the early days, probably 2001, 2002, I worked with Dave after working my normal shift. So I should be quiet, I should be tired, mm -hmm. but my energy picked up because that's just Dave's style. Oh. Dave always had his energy at, you know, the top level. And you always went up with him. And he mm -hmm. taught me to be myself and he just he brought the best out of people when you work with him and it was on camera behind the scenes our producer Brianna Gordon here uh, taking a picture with him she's told me that she watched him growing up and one of the reasons she became a meteorologist and they found an old headshot and they took a picture together one of her favorite shots I love him and also you know he was part of the old evening edition crew back in the early 2000s this is part of our old crew in fact our current producer Lisa Watkins she's sitting at the desk on the left and our director Edward Bruno Gaston. <laughs> we call him EBG on the far right there. And of course, there's Dave, smack dab in the middle, always in the middle of a good time here. He personified love, class, joy for what he did, his wife, his family. So, yeah. He will be sorely missed. And Dave, we love you. Yes, thank you for gracing us with your presence for all these years and allowing us to work with him. He truly is a Weather Channel icon. He was meant to be a weatherman in the same fashion that John Keats was meant to be a poet. No question. 
I this enjoyed one. working with Dave. I learned so much from him every day, and he would always crack us up during commercial breaks. That was just Dave. You know, his personality was so warming. Absolutely. One of the very best there was. He made it flawless. We miss him. We will miss him every single day. Dave, we love you very much.